Welcome to HSC Economics Made Easy. This video marks the beginning of a new series on the exchange rate. Let's start with the definition. The exchange rate is the price of one currency in terms of another country's currency. What is the foreign exchange used for? Almost every international transaction between different countries will involve changing currencies. Anytime Australia receives money, foreign currency needs to be exchanged into Australian dollars. In general, we want our export revenue, investments, profits, etc. in Australian dollars, don't we? In the same way, when foreigners receive from us, they'll want our Australian dollars converted into their local currency. So building off this, we can explain why the Australian dollar appreciates or depreciates. Whenever we receive money from overseas, foreigners must buy Australian dollars before they send it to us. Upon this purchase, they have created demand for the Aussie dollar. What happens when you increase the demand for something? The price goes up, you get an appreciation. And when they stop sending money to Australia, the demand goes back down, causing a depreciation. Let's also look at the flip side. What if Australia sends money overseas? Whenever this happens, we must sell Australian dollars to buy foreign currency. As we sell Aussie dollars, we are contributing to a higher supply. What happens when you increase the supply of something? The price comes down. It depreciates. So the more money we send, the greater the supply, leading to a depreciation. And conversely, when we stop sending money, the dollar appreciates again. The forces of demand and supply for the dollar was definitely seen in 2011. The Aussie dollar appreciated so much, it overtook the US dollar. It went from 50 cents US in 2001 to a peak of over $1.10 US in 2011. This was driven by an increase in demand for Australian exports, as seen by our trade balance and terms of trade. An increase in foreign investment into Australia also increased demand for the dollar too. This was caused by low confidence and interest rates in other advanced economies, causing their investors to move their money into Australia. So to sum it up, Inflows lead to foreigners buying the Aussie dollar, which lead to an increase in demand and an appreciation. Outflows, or sending money, involve selling the Aussie dollar, which lead to an increase in supply and a depreciation. The way I remember this is, sending, S, leads to selling, S, which then leads to an increase in supply, S. Let's try out what we've learned with the 2017 HSC question 13. If a major importer stops buying Australian products, will be receiving less inflows, so there'll be less demand for the Aussie dollar. This leads to a depreciation. The answer is A. For more of a challenge, let's check out 2015's question nine. What we see in the diagram is a depreciation caused by a decrease in demand, which again means less inflows. Which of these scenarios would cause this? A and C are obviously wrong because this isn't an appreciation. B is a depreciation, but the cause is wrong. Microeconomic reform generally makes economies more competitive. So in this case, US would become less competitive, buy more Australian exports and actually cause an appreciation. That's why B is wrong. That leaves D. If foreign interest rates are higher than Australian interest rates, foreign investors are happy to keep their investments in their own country's banks rather than Australian banks. This means we'll receive less inflows, causing a decrease in demand and a subsequent depreciation. The answer therefore is D. With that, I hope I've made the basics of exchange rate movements easy for you to grasp. In future videos, I'll be looking at the TWI, impacts of these exchange rate movements, as well as government intervention. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos. If this video has helped you, please leave a like and comment and share the video too. And I look forward to continuing to make HSC economics easy for you.